So when I was in high school, I really, really, really loved biology as a subject, and equally opposite, I really hated chemistry as a subject. So chemistry and me were enemies, and biology and me were really good friends. And when I come to medical school in first year, I see there is a subject called biochemistry, and I was so happy that I have left chemistry for good, and now I'm like not again. So. i developed really good strategies to overcome this uh, you know weakness of mine of chemistry and in that process i think i learned biochemistry really really well so in today's topic we'll talk about biochemistry hey guys welcome back to the channel this is dr subhramnani currently an intern practicing here in delhi and also welcome back to our study series where we discuss a system or a subject i give you a lot of high yield resources for that uh, high yield topics to follow from and also i'll have a clinical question in the end for you so without much further ado let's begin with bio chem is three why did i say it like that our body is no doubt controlled by many processes and we saw that in our in depth study Uh, of physiology which you can check out with this video here but to aid these processes some chemicals are also required so biochemistry deals with the chemical and physiochemical processes and substances in and out of the body just like my friend alexa here acts as an enzyme and does all the tasks for me okay it, it, it listen to me even when i said alexa like that wow the mics on this must be anyway let's come to the learning outcome by learning outcome i mean what are you expected to know when you have completed the subject so by studying the subject it will help you with the understanding of the biochemical processes and the cycles and the reactions that help in proper functioning of the body the role of enzymes and hormones and their deficiencies vitamins all of this you'll be studying in biochemistry and by the end of it you'll know everything So for example you will have a patient with glycogen storage disease then you will have to find out what enzyme is compromised which metabolic processes are affected because of that deficient enzyme and what does that change in the body overall so this will be your scenario at the end of uh, studying biochemistry anyway jumping on to the high yield resources what i recommend you use for biochemistry again this is what i used personally so here's my advice for books mainly students choose between two books uh, satyanarayan and lippincott so for me i went with lippincott i compared both the books it was not like i went with lippincott because you know majority in my college went with my seniors advised me no i actually compared these two books uh, uh, with my friend and i went with lippincott for a few reasons So Lippincott had really good and precise flow charts and there was really good categorization of the topics and important high yield topics uh, were made simpler in that by having a chapter summary in the end some key points and some diagrams and flow charts and basically the quality of the paper and everything also influenced and yes I finally went with Lippincott On the other hand Satyanarayan I didn't like it as much as I liked Lippincott because Satyanarayan was I think a bit too vast for me and I was like if I can get done get done with the subject in this Lippincott uh, why bother reading Satyanarayan So it's not like Lippincott is a small book but comparatively yeah also Satyanarayan's paper quality and some flow charts were not really appealing to me when I compared them with Lippincott So all in all I sort of lost interest in studying from Satyanarayan and I chose Lippincott. Additionally, I cannot cannot emphasize enough that the fact that I watched cartoons to actually remember biochemistry. And yes, you heard me right. I real literally watched cartoons and I already have a video on it. And you can check it out right here and I'll also link in the description and you should definitely watch this video and study from this resource called Pixorize which helps you basically learn these uh, you know memorization heavy subjects and one of them is like biochemistry and I learned biochemistry from that and I can say confidently that all these glycolysis Krebs cycle HMP shunt and what all I just remember because I still remember the cartoons from Pixorize 
anyway you can check out the review uh, right after this video and let's move on to the next sahil resource is actually youtube videos uh, specifically by khan academy so khan academy has a lot of videos on basic sciences so the basic metabolic processes which you also study in your high school like uh, glycolysis gluconeogenesis all of this is is covered excellently in khan academy and you know till i did not know about this pixelize resource i really used khan academy to answer quick questions uh, in my class and you know at least uh, it looked like i knew the or i remembered the cycles back then but for long term retention pixelize is the way to go so what are the high yield topics you should know for biochemistry so here's a list of high yield topics you can see right here for biochemistry i should emphasize that a special focus should be made on metabolism storage diseases enzyme deficiencies and also vitamins because they make a lot of popular questions in these entrance exams and i'll have one such question for you at the end of the video which has appeared in a lot of entrance exams so do not miss it out and let's see if you get it correct and you can tell me in the comment section below anyway let's come to the integration what should you integrate biochemistry with if you are you know Uh, not starting out as new when you are studying for entrance exams you can club biochemistry with some subjects and finish them together when studying biochemistry it will help you uh, in specially three subjects in medical school one is pathology of course everything is linked with pathology second is pediatrics and third is oncology you would be able to study oncology and pathology really really well if you have a strong base of biochemistry and especially of the you know cell cycle and about the cell working because all the or most of the oncology drugs are based on the cell cycle the g1 s phase and g2 phase and the m phase and you study all of that in biochemistry uh, for pediatrics the deficiencies the storage diseases will also you know will come in really handy when you studying pediatrics now let's come to the question which i promised you which well have for you in the end and it keeps on appearing in various entrance exams and it even appeared in my entrance exam uh, at least a form of this question uh, for fmg december 2021 anyway so here's how the question looks a 3 week old infant who is exclusively breastfed is brought to the emergency department because of diarrhea poor feeding abdominal distension and vomiting from the past 4 days on physical exam uh, it reveals that there is a temperature of 39 degrees celsius cataracts and icterus is seen in the eye and hepatomegaly is uh, uh, seen on or felt on palpation so what will be your probable diagnosis and the options somehow look like this A hereditary fructose intolerance B galactokinase deficiency C galactosemia and D neonatal hemochromatosis So after studying biochemistry some questions look like this so basically you need to answer or come to a probable diagnosis and let's see how well you do in this question and let me know in the comment section below your answer and until then stay safe stay happy and stay mad but just about medicine